hi everyone so welcome to another tutorial video uh, so today we're looking at question 9 from tutorial sheet 3 so uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel those that have not yet subscribed to the channel we're going to be looking at the rules of the equations and uh, yeah we're going to be looking at it's basically coming from the quadratic equations yeah so you do the same way so this this question is just you you solve it in the same way that we solved uh, question eight so what you need to do is you first have to know to say your x your roots that have been given are these so meaning you're going to have your x squared there plus one then you also have your your uh, sorry at x squared is supposed to be out of a squared then you also have your beta squared plus one this is your other x value so what you now do here is uh is just solving the quadratic equation in the backward way so you are going to have something like this like this then again you have x minus uh, beta squared minus 1 which is now equal to 0 so from there what you just need from there is just multiplication so you multiply this and then after multiplying it after multiplying them you come and find your alpha beta and your alpha times I mean and your alpha plus beta after finding alpha beta and alpha plus beta you replace them in the answer that you are going to find after multiplying these two so this is basically how you solve such a question so same applies to b you also do the same it's just that these questions are too complex and writing the alphas and the betas using this uh, thing that i'm using to write it's a uh, kind of stressful it's a uh, I, I may spend maybe two hours just solving or maybe one hour just solving question nine which is not uh, uh which is not good i mean which is just going to take a lot of your time so the best is for you guys to be solving these questions on your paper if you solve you can submit it on my whatsapp line yeah so my whatsapp line is simply zero nine six zero ten eighty 64. so once you solve it you submit it to this line on whatsapp uh, or on telegram i'm using the same line i'm going to tell you whether you've gotten the solution or you have you have gotten it right or wrong okay so same applies to this you do the same way and then c let me help you solve c yeah so c is saying the, our first value of x is equal to alpha over beta and then our second value of x is equal to uh, beta over alpha and then what you do now is you're going to have something like this and then you put them in brackets then you have another one of the same kind put them in brackets and then you equate this to zero then you mo you begin to multiply now x times x you get x squared and then when you, when you multiply x times negative beta over alpha you get beta over alpha x then negative beta uh, negative alpha over beta times x you get negative beta i mean negative alpha over beta x and then this alpha times that you get because uh, this will cancel with that that will cancel with that meaning you get a positive one and then this is equal to zero then from there you are going to have x squared then you factor out the negative x or rather let me put the negative the x at the end of the bracket so i'm going to factor out the negative so meaning i'm going to have just beta over alpha and then i'm going to have a plus alpha over beta 
then I'm going to have my x outside like that and then plus 1 being equal to 0 then from there it's just a matter of simplifying this middle part here so I'm going to have x squared minus so beta times beta I'm going to have beta squared alpha times alpha I'm going to have alpha squared so I'm going to have something like this alpha squared plus uh, uh, beta squared the common denominator is alpha beta this is what you are going to have plus one so you see these questions that's the reason why i'm saying they are complex so this is why i'm skipping some of them because they are very simple they are just too complex then you write your x squared and then we know the value of alpha squared and uh, plus beta squared so we can just replace it there so alpha squared plus uh, beta squared is simply just alpha plus beta uh, squared so this is just alpha plus beta uh, squared then you have minus two alpha two alpha beta. So this is what you are going to have. Then everything divided by alpha beta. And then you have your x that side. Then you have your plus one. Then equal to zero. So from there, it's just a matter of replacing one is alpha plus beta and then one is alpha times beta. You put the values that you are going to find after using these formulas. C over A and then alpha plus beta is equal to uh, negative B over A. So you use these two formulas, you replace them there where there is alpha plus beta and then where there is alpha times beta you put them so after replacing them there you find the quadratic equation that is uh, needed in this question so thank you very much for watching today's uh, tutorial video see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom